Travesties is an extraordinary play and Pitt Lockery is rather lucky to get hold of it at the moment because it's just about to open on Broadway with Tom Hollander playing the lead role of Henry Carr. But we've got this box of tricks really, a farce, um, which is also includes the plot of the importance of being earnest. I'll explain. What happens during the play is that Carr is trying to re represent the best version of himself. He starts talking to us as an older man relating these events and then he actually goes back in time and starts being his younger self. Um, however, sometimes because his memory is inaccurate and he's going a little bit senile, um, the scenes don't run to his liking. So a cuckoo clock sounds, us being in Switzerland, um, and he starts the scene again trying to do a better version of it. And this can be very amusing because he gets himself into quite a pickle at the end of scenes sometimes when he realises the scene has gone wrong and has to start again. And, and we see people almost rewinding and having to start. Um, and, and the tone of the scene will have changed or he'll have decided that the staging needs to be a little bit different or his character needs to be saying wittier things. Uh, there's a whole scene that's played out as a musical number. It's the tea scene from The Importance of Being Earnest and the two girls who are currently in our production of Chicago as well. Um, do a song and dance number to this tea scene from the Port Spring Ernest. Uh, that comes out of a very moving scene where Lenin has talked about his, um, how moved he is by listening to Beethoven. Because everything that Lenin and his wife in the play uh, say are directly from uh, diaries or, uh, or biographies. And not, there aren't stop words, words, he's actually put Lenin's sections into the play. The play's often set in a library and so it's as though Carr has been reading this material and he's often on stage when Lenin is there um, and there's a rather moving scene as I said where Lenin um, listens to Beethoven's Appassionata and realises that he's very moved by it but realises he can't afford to be moved by art because it will stop him being able to commit violence to people. There are big philosophical arguments in the play um, about the importance of art and um, Stoppard wants to discuss this but they're always couched in a rather comic scene so you can enjoy it on several levels. You can enjoy it because, yes, the content of that speech is very interesting and profound um, and maybe something you hadn't thought about. But the context of the scene is generally humorous and silly. Um, so it's, it's sort of sugar-coated quite often. Um, Stoppard talked about ambushing the audience. And I think we try and do that from the very start of our production. If you come and see it, you'll see what I mean. Um, we hope to surprise you all the times with things that are happening that you're not quite expecting. And characters turn out to be rather different than we've thought they are. The butler Bennett turns out to be someone who might, who might, be, a, might be a Russian spy, for example. Um, and we also learn at the end of the play that um, a lot of the things that Carr has claimed have happened might not be very true. His wife starts speaking to us and telling us the real course of events. Um, and that could be quite amusing too. Well, Travesty was the very, very first professional play I was asked to direct, and it was terrifying. Um, just because of the theatrical techniques involved in pulling it off. Um, and the, the content of the play, there in, there are, it's a very witty script full of puns and literally illusions, and, um, and you start realising, oh yes, I've missed that idea, or I missed this little witty remark. Um, even last week in rehearsal, someone saw that there was a pun I hadn't noticed ever before on two lines. Um, and so it's, 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 uh, it's densely knitted together in a beautifully stylish way. And it's hugely funny and entertaining and involves hundreds of theatrical styles, musicals, striptease, limericks, monologue, all sorts of things. Um, and is an extraordinary concoction and rarely the like of which you'd see again if you come and see it.